I'm Marla, and this is my American dream. Be yourself, be yourself. When I was a child, it wasn't so much I had an eye for style and design. I was an entrepreneur. When all the other little girls were playing with dolls, I used to make doll clothes and sell them to them. I started out wanting to be an actress and a comedian and did Second City and all those fun things and eventually segued from in front of the camera to behind the camera. I was a studio executive in Hollywood, that's how I began. And then I decided I wanted to live in Europe. And when I moved to Europe, I became an executive producer, so I put together the financing and developed The Highlander, La Femme Nikita, and probably a bunch of shows you've never seen. But it was a great run and a great ride, and I loved every minute of it. I had moved my kids back to the United States under contract to ABC Touchstone. I loved the part of being an executive producer and putting together the big picture, but the truth of the matter, I spent most of my time in the wardrobe trailer. And then came the writer's strike and the perfect financial storm. I didn't lose big, I lost everything. There were moments where I didn't know how I would climb out of the hole I was in. You look at your kids, you brought them here. You have to take care of them. The kids really kept me going. They were the inspiration. You don't fail, you don't give up, and you don't let them know how scared you are. When you're a parent, your commitment is to do what it takes. I realized there was very little that was affordable for women my age. It was all either way too expensive or made you feel like you should just put on a muumuu and forget about it. So I built this business with a real eye on how could I make great, cool, edgy clothing that had a quality that America could afford. So during the writer's strike, I went out, I bought myself a sewing machine, I bought myself some sketch paper, and I began to draw and sketch and sew. And by the time the writer's strike was over, six months later, I had sold my first collection to HSN and to specialty stores across the United States. Be yourself, be yourself.